Difficult moments, seek God. Quiet moments, worship God. Painful moments, trust God. Every moment, thank God. And this is really true, and, and we have to really learn how to do that. So during the week, if you're feeling kind of low, pull out your program and remember in your program about happy moments, difficult <laughs> moments, quiet moments, painful moments, and every moment. Thank God. Amen. 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 Are you all ready for the word? Amen. Okay. Keep me in prayer as we go forth, as I go forth in the word. Um, we are in warfare, y'all. That's right. And uh, this is my subject. I'm going a little ahead of the game. We are in warfare. How are you suited up? Amen. And it's important for us to be suited up. Amen. I'll be coming from Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 11. I'll be reading 11 through 20. 11 through 20. And it reads as thus. Put on the whole armor of God. Let, let's go to 10. Let's start at 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for all and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, which therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we adore you. We magnify your name. We thank you, Father, for the word of God that is going forth. We ask that you just keep me covered in your precious blood. 
We thank you, Father, for the words of your mouth. Let the words of your mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We are in warfare. We as Christians, trying to do right, trying to live right, trying to eat right, trying to hear right, trying to see right, we are in warfare. We think it may be our job, we think it may be our co-workers, we think it may be our friends, our families, but we are in warfare. The enemy wants to kill, steal, and destroy us because we're trying to walk right. We're trying to live right. We're trying to seek God right. Amen. Amen. We're in warfare, y'all. Don't blame it on the people. Don't blame it on your family. Don't blame it on your friends. Don't blame it on your co-worker. We are in warfare. And they're not doing it. They're being used by the enemy. Amen, amen, and amen. As I mentioned, the enemy wants to kill us. He wants to steal from us. He wants to destroy us. And who is the enemy? Not the folks, like I mentioned before. The enemy is the fallen angels headed by whom? Satan. He is our adversary. He knows that we're the apple of God's eye. He knows that God loves us, want to protect us. He sent his only begotten son who died on the cross for our sins. So he is out to get us. He's out to steal, kill, and destroy. So we are in warfare. And I want to know, how are you suited up? See, when you go to battle, they're suited up with helmets, guns, and some sort of dress, uniform, not dress uniform, but some sort of uniform, fatigues. But I want to know, how are you suited up? Because we're in a battlefield. You know, Joyce Myers said there's a battlefield of the mind. We're in a battlefield. So how are you suited up? Are you suited up with prayer? Are you suited up with praise? Are you suited up by standing on his word? How are you suited up? Turn to someone and say, how are you suited up? How are you suited up? Glory to God. And say it with confidence. Not, how are you suited up? Turn to someone and say, how are you suited up? Amen. 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 It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord, not in self. See, we try to do stuff in our own strength. See, Brenda want to do it her way because she thinks it's the right way. But a lot of my time, my way is not the right way. So we have to go according to the word of God. It may not seem right, may not look right, may not hear like it's right, but it's right. Stand on the word of God. Amen. Put on the whole armor, not some of it. See, we may pray one day. We may do the word another day. We may sing a song the next day. And the day, the day, the day, sing the song. But we have the whole, have the whole armor of God on. Amen. Amen. So how are you going to resist him? By standing firm in faith. By putting on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the schemes of the devil. Satan is always battling against those on the Lord's side. And yes, you may have messed up one day, but he sent his son who died on the cross for our sins. And that's why I love when it, when it says in the word, he will forgive our iniquity and remember our sins no more. That's 
that's why he sent his only begotten son. We are assured to win. We must be, we must do our part because that's what Satan is doing his. And he's always doing his. So what are you doing? What is your part? It's to praise God. To thank him for just waking you up this morning. Amen, amen. Now, I know y'all received a little uh, handout here. And it's identifying the whole armor of God. So not only do you have it in the word of God, Ephesians 6, verses 11 and 18, but you have a visual picture of it. We have to belt ourselves up. Amen. Bet ourselves up with truth. Satan fights with his lies. God's truth, which is the word of God. Amen. We have to learn how to worship him in spirit and in truth. So put on that belt of truth. Amen. Amen. The breastplate of righteousness. You see it there? The breastplate of righteousness. Devil often attacks our heart, and our heart is the seat of our emotions, our self-worth, and trust. So put on that breastplate of righteousness. Amen. God's righteousness protects our heart and ensures his approval, who sent his son, who died for our sins. We're not out there by ourselves. We, we know Jesus is not on the cross. When you go in the Catholic Church, you'll see him on the cross. He's, at, he's not on the cross. He's there with the Father, praying for us, interceding for us. So know that we have a God that sent his Son, and his Son is there working for us. So do your work. Do your work. Amen. Foot gear. You see the foot gear there, the feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Readiness to spread the word. Are you spreading the word? Oh, you feel like you're not worthy. The enemy may want to make you think you're not worthy. But yes, you are worthy to tell your testimony. Not beating folks off on the side of the head with your family death Bible, but spread the word. Tell your testimony of what the Lord has done for you. Amen. How good he's been to you. Amen, amen. Talk about the goodness of Jesus. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, uh -huh. my very soul cry out, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. Satan wants us to think that spreading the good news is worthless and hopeless. It isn't. Everyone needs to hear the good news. And that is the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shield of faith. You see the shield of faith there? Shield of faith. Satan attacks come in the form of insults, setbacks, temptations. But the shield of faith protects us from those flaming arrows. So have faith in God. A lot of times when things are going on, we have to go to the Word. Don't go to the phone. Go to the Word. Don't go to the phone. Go to the Word. Turn to someone and say, go to the Word. Go to the word. Amen. The helmet of salvation. You see it there, that helmet of salvation. Amen. Amen. It protects our mind from doubt. Who are the doubters in here? Whoever had a doubt? I'm raising my hand because I've had a doubt. Amen. Amen. I've been saved for 20 years and I still have a doubt. Amen. But we have a helmet of salvation to protect our minds from doubt. Did you know that? We have a protection. So when you start feeling doubtful, amen, put on that helmet of salvation. And remember, your gear, what you suit it up with, it all goes together. We can't stand on our mama's prayers, our grandmama's prayers. You need to learn to pray. 
If it's nothing but saying, oh, Jesus, help me, Lord. You need to learn to pray. Amen. Amen and amen. So protect our minds from the doubts. Amen. The sword. You see the sword there? Amen. Which is the word of God. Only weapon of offense. The, ref, the others are defense, but this is offense. When we are tempted, we need to trust in the truth, and that is God's word. How many are trusting him today? Amen. 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 How many are going to be fully, fully suited? That's right. If I wasn't clear, you got a hand there. Tonight, when you're sitting back eating that ice cream and sipping that tea, pull this out. Pull this out and see where you're lacking being fully seated in the Word of God. Fully suited in the Word of God. We have to be fully suited because we are living in the last days. We are living in perilous times where anything and everything goes. Now, Paul wrote this letter. This is one of his epistles. It was written to strengthen and encourage believers in Ephesus. So I'm hoping that what I have said to you today will strengthen yeah. and encourage you, the people of the lighthouse. Amen. Amen. And remember these truths in the word. We have a God that will never leave us nor forsake us. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He will forgive our iniquities and remember our sins no more. God, hallelujah, has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. You have the power, y'all. Turn to someone and say, I got power. I got power. Turn to someone else and say, I got power. I got power. Yes, yes. So remember that. He has not given us the spirit of fear. The enemy has. Amen. But God give us the power of love and a sound mind. And we all have sound minds Good today. We have to do this, we have to suit up, not only outwardly, but we have to suit up inwardly, and that is with the Holy Spirit. Wow. Amen. And stop doing things to quench or squelch the Holy Spirit. And stop putting so much out there for the enemy to work with. Because once you're complaining, once you're doubting, the enemy has that information. He is not all-knowing. Only God is all-knowing. Amen. amen. Amen and amen. Please stand. Please stand. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Father God. We thank you for suiting us up today. Because we are in warfare, Father. We thank you for opening our eyes, showing us areas in our lives that are that is not pleasing to you. Give us the strength, grace, and wisdom to remove any sin or weight that would prevent our close fellowship with you. Work in me, Lord. Cleanse me from all that will give the devil a foothold against me. I claim in every way the victory of the cross over all satanic, satanic forces in my life. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ with thanksgiving and I welcome all the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Welcome him into your life. You may think, oh, that's not going to work. It will work. And we thank you, Father. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify your holy and righteous name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I want you to know on the reverse side, you have a warfare prayer that you can 
go down and read this prayer, the Lord Mayor prayer. Now, I'm going to open up the doors of the church. Will you please stand? If there's anyone that does not have a church home, Well, I'm joining this church, but actually you're joining the body of Christ. So anyone looking for a church home, you may come <coughs> at this time. Anyone wanting prayer? 